The works of Andres Giron are reflections of the inspirations of his youth, his family, and culture. This painting, for example, captures the moment of traditional celebration as friends and family make tamales. It is a tamalada. It's this type of work that any parent would be proud of. Enriqueta Giron remembers when Andres first began to demonstrate his desire and abilities to draw. I am very proud of my son because when he does his paintings, he says that he puts all his feelings and his art, in, especially in his heritage, his Mexican-American heritage. And as you notice, all his paintings, you know, mm -hmm. are, you know, uh, from his roots. When, when he was in Vietnam, what did mom think? When, I'm a lot. Oh, when he was in Vietnam, I worried so much that I wouldn't even like to watch TV because if they showed any any a film of soldiers that were there wounded, I thought it was him. So I so I would just would not see them. So so his talent began how young? When he was, I would say, about seven years old, he started painting when he was about, and uh, drawing, he used to draw. And you know what he used to draw? I don't know if he will like for me to say that. He used to like to draw girls' legs. <laughs> Recently, we caught up with Andres at a reception at the home of Lucia in El Madrid. He talked about why he thinks people like his work. I love the, uh, the fact that we're mestizos. That we're, you know, we have Indian in us, we have Mexican Indian, we have Spanish in us, we have European influences, we have um, uh, all these coming together to create a lot of a good a body of art that, uh, hey, uh, why, why paint anything else? You know, uh, mm -hmm. To me, uh, <laughs> I discovered that that's what I wanted to do, and I've been doing it for like over 20 years now. So. Among Andres' newest pieces of art is a portrait of a scene in Vietnam that was imprinted in his mind for more than 30 years. Well, when I was in Vietnam, one of the things I did every day, and I was a combat infantryman. I was an airborne ranger, 101st Airborne. I mean, we're, we were the ones that went into the field, and we were the ones that engaged the enemy. And through all that, I carried a notebook, and I sketched. Every day I would sketch uh, a picture not of my surroundings, but what I, where I wanted to be and what I was going to do when I got out of this hellhole. And this picture is something I wanted to do for 34 years, and I just painted it this year. And what I wanted to do is show the what we were thinking about, not what was around us, but packages from home, uh, messages from home, letters from home, girlfriends, mothers, aunts, uncles, whatever. Nothing was more important than mail. Andres Giron, influenced by family and culture, sharing his legacy through art that promotes the positive. Andres Giron, another example of culture with a cause.